Hello. Welcome to Bernathan College's annual Academic Achievement Awards event. My name is Wendy Klosterman, and I'm the Dean of Academics, and I'm very glad that you are here. Each year, Bernathan College holds this event to recognize and celebrate the high level of academic success of our students. It was extremely important to us to find a way to continue to hold this event despite the challenges of the pandemic and even though we cannot be on campus together right now. So to all the students who are in the audience today, we miss you. We miss being together on campus with you and all of the informal as well as formal interactions that we have with you and all our students throughout the day. You matter. You are the heart of the Bernathan campus community. And we're looking forward to the day when we can be with you face to face again. In this time of social distancing, when so many communities like ours are physically dispersed, I've been reflecting on Emanuel Swedenborg's description of heaven because he explains angelic community is not constrained or defined by physical space or natural time. Instead, it is the nature of angels thinking and the stirring of their hearts that bring them close to each other and forge real and meaningful connection. And we all experience community like this from time to time, a sense of close connection with others that comes from a meeting of minds and hearts, especially when we act from a spirit of caring about the welfare of others. It's this sort of spiritual community for which Bernathan College strives. And these meaningful connections can take place even when we're physically distant. And so I thank you all for contributing to this community of the spirit that we seek to build at Bernathan College. Today, we're gathered with a focus on honoring the academic achievements of our students. We'll be celebrating two types of achievements tonight, earning Dean's List distinction and winning program-based scholarships. And some of us here today are honorees. A total of 108 students are being honored this evening. We're pleased to be able to provide public recognition for your academic achievement, which marks the cultivation of skills and agility of thought that you can use to benefit your workplaces, your communities, and others in meaningful ways. So let me be the first to offer what will no doubt be many congratulations to you on your achievements. Others of us here are family, friends, and donors, college faculty and staff, all of us here to cheer on the honorees. This audience has gathered from many places all over the United States, and I believe that we may have participants from other countries as well. As a result of this experience of gathering a widespread and maybe even international community together to celebrate our students. In the future, we'll work to be able to have a digital component of this event, even when we're able to hold it in person, so that family, friends, and supporters who may be at a physical distance, but who are closely connected with this community in heart and mind can participate. I want to close my introductory remarks with just a few words about logistics. First, the program. A link is available for you in the Q&A if you want to open that and follow along there, but it will also be on the PowerPoint that you see. Second, I want to talk about photos. It is really important to us to make students front and center in this event. And so we thought about ways to be able to make faces as well as names visible. Now, given our circumstances, we had to use ID photos, even though the quality varies and some of the photos have definite ID poses and expressions rather than portrait ones. But despite these limitations, we hope that it accomplishes our purpose, which is putting students visibly in the center so we can celebrate them. And then lastly, the Q&A. 
Usually these events are full of applause. And since we can't applause, in lieu of it, I encourage you to post words or emojis of congratulations in the Q&A. You're also welcome to post tech questions here if you experience difficulties. Any items that you send to the Q&A have to be manually reviewed before they're published for the group, so tech questions could be addressed individually. All right, let's begin. Uh, first, I want to begin with Dean's list honorees. That's the core of our program today, recognizing the students who have earned the Dean's List in spring 2019, fall 2019, and winter 2019-20. This is 106 students. As I talk about the Dean's List honorees, in a few seconds you will see their names and faces. And I encourage you to offer them congratulations in the Q&A since we can't applaud. Since we uh, are including Dean's List recipients from spring 2019, some of the students have already graduated, but as alums, they're still part of the Bernathan College community. So as you're watching these names and faces of Dean's List students and we celebrate them, let me say a little bit about Dean's List honors. To earn Dean's List honors, students need to achieve a GPA of at least 3.5. That's 90% or higher on at least 11 graded credits in a given term. Achieving this level of success is remarkable. Just over a third of the grades awarded at Bernathan College are in the A range. So congratulations to each and every student on the Dean's List. Academic achievement at the level required to be on the Dean's List is the result of hard work and dedication over time. Time that is spent honing skills and sharpening thought. This work is often invisible and sometimes can be quite solitary. It's good to make it visible in an event like this and its achievement that's worth celebrating in and of itself. In addition, both the academic abilities that you've developed and the commitment that was re required to develop those skills will continue to be useful to you in the professional world. You'll be able to apply the knowledge, skills, and habits that you've been cultivating to your career and in your contribution to your future communities. Further, you can also apply your skills and habit to spiritual living if you choose. For example, teachings for the new church point out the value of analysis and intelligent reflection in understanding our own motives, helping us to distinguish good motives from those that may be more self-serving. Those skills can also assist us to better pair our good motives with wise forms of articulation to bring those motives to fruition more effectively. And New Church teachings also note some of the practices that form the heart of charity, that is doing our work justly, honestly, faithfully, and sincerely. And so to all of our Dean's List honorees, we commend you and we celebrate your high performance. You're doing good work and continuing to challenge yourself to grow and to develop. We're excited to see the variety of ways that you'll find to use your sharp thoughts and insights, your honed skills, and your habits of commitment to contribute to those around you. So finally, I'd like to take a moment to recognize students who've earned the Dean's List multiple times. 57 of our students honored today earned Dean's List distinction in more than one of the last three terms. And 21 students were on the Dean's List in all three of the last three terms. Nine students have earned this distinction in all five of the terms they've completed at Bernathan College so far. And I'll read you their names. 
Libby Allen, Elena Brock, Anwen Brock, Talia Brown, Nora Connolly, Derek Crumland, Thomas Jackson, Gretchen Roscoe, and Raina Sinisfet. And four students have earned this distinction in all eight of the terms they've completed so far. Bennett Buick, Angela Crenetti, Carolyn Erb, and Avonlea Schnarr. So to these students and to every one of our Dean's List honorees, I wish you a very, very hearty congratulations. I was, wish we could be together in person to have a photo and celebrate this event. But I hope that what you're experiencing today imparts at least some of the warm wishes and celebration that we wish to offer you. Thank you and congratulations, Dean's List honorees. So the next part of our program is the awarding of certain program specific scholarships. Bernathan College and its partners offer three different types of academic scholarships, each recognizing students for their academic prowess. One are scholarships based on high school performance, and these are awarded prior to enrollment at Bernathan College. The second type are scholarships based on performance of Bernathan College, which were awarded after spring term, so at the end of this term. The third are special program specific scholarships, and these are the ones that we are recognizing and awarding today. The program specific scholarships are funded by donors or external agencies, and I believe that we have some of the donors in the audience with us today, including alumni. I want to express my heartfelt thanks to our donors for supporting students and their achievement. It is wonderful to see our students uh, valued and, and their work valued and appreciated in this way. And so thank you very much. The first set of scholarships will be presented by Bill LaRousse, our Vice President for Enrollment Management. And so I will turn this microphone over to him. Thank you, Dean Klosterman. And congratulations to everyone being honored tonight. It is a privilege to be a part of this event and to um, offer um, the awards for um, two awards, the IAG scholarship and the UPS scholarship. First, the IAG scholarship. The Institutional Assistance Grant Scholarships are funded by the state of Pennsylvania and are awarded in recognition of excellent academic performance. This year's IAG scholarships go to Jacqueline Bine, Haley Clark, and Savannah Young. Congratulations, students. Next, we have the ACUP UPS scholarships. The UPS scholarship is funded by the UPS Foundation and is administered through the Association of Independent Colleges and Universities of Pennsylvania. It is an example of corporate investment in high quality scholarship in private colleges and universities. The award recognizes academic achievement. This scholarship this evening goes to Tess Brown. Congratulations, Tess. Moving along, the next awards are going to be presented by Professor Ed Higgins. Professor Higgins. All right, thank you, Bill. As uh, Bill mentioned, my name is Dr. Ed Higgins. I'm a member of the science faculty here at Bernathan College, and I have the privilege this evening of awarding the first ever Bernathan College Biology Student Scholarships. We in the science department recently got a very generous gift that will 
let us grant each year two separate $1,000 scholarships to deserving biology majors here at uh, Bernathan College. And for this, uh, for the inaugural year, the science faculty have chosen Ms. Elena Brock and Ms. Yasna Yanakic to receive this award. I want to just briefly say that both Elena and Yasna are exceptional students whose dedication to their, their academics, to their peers, to our department, and to the life of Bernathen College are perfect examples of what we in the science department hope this scholarship will support going forward. And we're, we're incredibly proud to have them be the first awardees. And I will then turn over to the next uh, presenter, who's Dr. Arm Yardumian, who will uh, present the next scholarships. Hi, thanks. I'm Aram Yardumian, and I represent the History Social Science Department here at Bernathan College. The Cole Foundation Scholarship, which awards scholarships to um, human society majors, is interested in getting people to think about society, culture, religion, and politics. So it sponsors scholarships and grants for human society majors. This year, two continuing scholarships are awarded to Derek Crunland and Libby Allen. Receiving one-year grants are Lauren Ball and John Grumbach. Congratulations to all of you. The History and Social Science Department and the Cole Foundation look forward to seeing the fruit, fruits of your, all your work in the, few, in the years to come. We would like to thank the Cole Foundation for their continuing support for our students. I will now introduce Nina Phillips, co-chair of Bernathan College's Education Department. Uh, Nina, your mic might be muted. There you Sorry, go. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Technical glitch. <laughs> anyway, going on, the uh, Colonial Williamsburg Teacher Institute uh, allows us to send students from the Bernathan College Education Department and the Bernathan College History Department to a week-long institute where they are uh, provided with all manner of knowledge and activities about the founding of our nation and we're very excited to send students there every year. Recipients of the Colonial Williamsburg Scholarship are recognized for their distinguished scholarship and achievement in partnership with our generous donors, we proudly present a full scholarship to the Colonial Williamsburg Teacher Institute to Jackie Bine, Denali Heinrichs, and Tim Mullen. Way to go, guys. Congratulations. And now I would like to introduce the Reverend Scott Frazier and the Dristy Farrell Fund Scholarship. Uh, Scott, your uh, mic is muted. There we are. So yes, I am. The, I am Scott Frazier. I am the chair of the Religion, Philosophy, and Sacred Languages Department, and we are happy to announce a new award, the Dristel Farrell Dristy Farrell Fund Scholarship for supporting New Church Religious Education. Uh, this is a new scholarship, and it goes to a currently enrolled religion major who has demonstrated acumen and dedication to the formal study of New Church Religion and Theology. This year, the award goes to Thomas J. Jackson, a sophomore, for his high interest and application to the Heavenly Doctrines at the undergraduate level. We look forward to seeing TJ graduate in a couple years. Uh, we would also like to thank the Dristy Farrell Fund for this generous gift. It's always great to see support for the more formal study of religion in the midst of all of these other wonderful things. So again, thank you for that support. I would now like to welcome uh, Neil Simonetti for the next scholarship, the No Gray Computer Science Scholarship. Thank you, Scott. 
I know I'm very memorable. The Nobre Computer Science Scholarship is funded by the Nobre Computer, Computer Services, a company founded and owned by Bernathan College graduates, Kalebe and Jenica Nobre. I believe this is about one full decade they've been offering this award every year. I'd like to thank them for this participation. The scholarship is intended to encourage and support Bernathan College students in their study of computer science. Last year, the Mathematics and Computer Science Department selected Avonlea Schnarr to receive the Nobre Computer Science Scholarship for both the 2019-20 and 2020-21 school years. For her senior project, next year Avonlea plans to develop a mathematical model to optimize locations of regional polling places to minimize travel distance and wait times for voters. Again, thank you to the Nobres for this generous scholarship over this last decade. I'd now like to introduce the department chair of the art department, a director of the building arts program, and a man who puts the fine in fine arts, Dr. Jonathan Klein. Thank you, Dr. Simonetti. Uh, that's quite an introduction. I'm not sure I deserve it. <laughs> As a representative of the Arts Department and the Building Arts Program, it is my honor to announce the recipient of the Spillman Farmer Architects Scholarship, which is given to a student in the Building Arts Program in recognition of achievement in the classroom and in the studio. The firm of Spillman Farmer Architects designed and built the College Center and other buildings on the Bernathan College campus and funded a scholarship for students in our building arts program. For her hard work, her encouragement with course, her engagement with course material, and for the quality of the finished products and papers that she has submitted over the past year, the faculty of the Arts Department have chosen Sharika Glasgow to receive the 2020 Spillman Farmer Architects Scholarship. Congratulations, Sharika. This is an honor and opportunity well earned and very much deserved. Now to announce the Theta Alpha International Scholarships, Professor Sarah Wong. Thank you, Jonathan. So as one of the faculty liaisons of the Theta Alpha International um, Executive Board, I'm delighted to present this year's scholarships. Our organization began as a Women's Alumni Association for the Academy of the New Church, and it is our continued mission to support new church education in all its forms. Therefore, it is fitting that we champion and promote Bernathan College's religious and educational efforts and programming. The recipients of this year's scholarships truly exemplify the mission and values that we wish to support as an organization. So for the 2020 and 2021 academic year, I'm happy to award our scholarships to the following students. Jay Dibert who is an incoming freshman next year, Carolyn Erb, Denali Heinrichs, and Jordan Brune, uh, who are all currently enrolled students. Please join me in congratulating these wonderfully deserving women and another big thank you to Theta Alpha International for their continued support. And now I'd like to uh, hand the mic over back to Dean Klosterman for the presentation of the Bernathan College Alumni Association Award. Thank you very much. Um, I'm presenting this award on behalf of the Bernathan College Alumni Association and Dave Cooper. And so I'm going to share with you the text that Dave Cooper, the president of the Alumni Association, uh, gave me. He writes, the Bernathan College Alumni Association Innovation and Leadership Award is designed to encourage creative ideas that will improve engagement among students, support the mission, and bring the college closer to its surrounding community, including alumni. The award is competitive, so students must apply with a proposal for a project and explain how they believe their project will meet the criteria. Once awarded, students work with the Alumni Association to further structure their project and provide us with feedback, that is the Alumni Association, that can be used to guide similar initiatives in the future. This year, 
We are very pleased to present the Innovation and Leadership Award to Alec Grohlman for his proposal to promote and expand career development opportunities for students. Congratulations, Alec, from the Alumni Association. And congratulations, too, from myself and everyone at Bernathan College. We're really excited to see your ideas come to fruition and serve Bernathan College and our students. And this brings us to the end of the scholarship um, announcements and to the nearing the end of this event. So I want to conclude with a final word of congratulations to all of our honorees today, the Dean's List and scholarship recipients. We're very proud of you and your accomplishments, and we're so happy to be able to celebrate them with you tonight. I also want to express gratitude to the family and friends and faculty and staff who support these students and cheer them on, not only today, but also on many other days. And gratitude to our very generous donors. Your valuable support is really important for these students in Bernathan College. And finally, I want to thank my fellow presenters here tonight. I want to thank Casey Schoeder and Charity Warwick in the college office who helped with a lot of the information, to Katie Fitzgerald who assisted me in planning, and especially to the IT staff who've worked so hard to be able to bring this event online. So a very special shout out to Rich Dom and to Wojciech Luza who've been working behind the scenes tonight during this event. So I want to thank you all for taking the time to come tonight and wish you all a very good evening. Take care. <laughs>